Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, version control your Wakari notebooks on GitHub. And the first thing you have to do is um, create an SSH key for on your Wakari account so that you can push stuff over to GitHub. Um, if you um, Google on um, GitHub SSH, um, you'll land on this page generating SSH keys. And uh, I'm going to follow um, these steps along more or less. So if you wonder where I figured this out, it is from this page here. So basically, this is the uh, main command you need. So I'm going to uh, copy this line right here. So I have it for later. And now I'm going to log into Akari. This is a new account um, that I haven't set anything up in, just uh, for demonstration. So I'm going to log in here, click the blue button. Always forget that and hit enter and nothing happens. Um, comes up like this, and you're going to want this terminals tab. For some reason, you don't see this terminals tab at any point during your Wakari session. You can go over here to view workbench. Um, and if you do that, it'll kind of reload and um, this terminals uh, tab will pop back again. So you want to go to terminals. Um, there's these different drop downs here. It sort of opens up an IPython one by default. But instead of IPython, um, you want the, a shell. So you click on shell and then you hit tab. And don't worry about this. It doesn't matter which environment you're in. So you get a terminal here, and um, and now you're gonna we're gonna type this. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. Control plus, and I'm gonna do my right mouse and paste. So there's this little example of generating a um, SSH key pair. So I'm gonna replace this with my um, actual email so that um, it shows up as me when I make changes. And um, it says, ask where I want to save it. I'm just going to save it in the default. I'm not going to save a passphrase, although that would be more secure. I think this is secure enough without a passphrase for my purposes. And so now I have uh, generated this file that has a public key and a private key. And it says here, um, your, pu your public key has been saved in uh, this address here. Now your public key, you really don't have to worry about. So um, I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to take a look at that. We're going to do more, and I'm going to copy that. So let's see here. So there it is, and I'm going to copy that into. Um, I'm going to do a right mouse click and copy. Um, you know, I'm, just because this window is kind of weird, um, I'm going to pop it into a text browser um, on my uh, PC here, just to make sure it looks okay. And um, I'm going to copy this one. Looks okay. Um, back to uh, GitHub. So now I have to go to GitHub. Um, let's log in to GitHub. GitHub. All right, signal USGS. And um, I guess I'm already logged in. There we go. So you want to click on Settings, and then over here on uh, SSH keys, then add an SSH key, and then uh, give it a name like. Um, RPS Wakari. And down here, you just paste that key, add it. Um, and so now, let's see, it says, uh, should say somewhere here, there we go, RPS Wakari account. So um, now, um, let's see, if I go back to, uh, let's take a particular repository that we want to clone. Um, or I'll actually, let's just make a new one. So I'm going to make a new repository. Um, and I'm going to call it um, testing. Nice. Um, testing uh, Wakari notebook versioning. Um, how about Wakari? Wakari test. Okay, um, don't have to worry about any of this junk for now. Um, although, yeah, let's let's initialize it with a README. Why not? Um, and then create a repository. Okay. So here's a here's our little repository, Wakari test. All it has is a README. And over here, you'll see the clone URL. Okay. Um, let's switch to the uh, SSH clone URL right here. And um, we can go ahead and um, copy that. Control A, Control C. Um, so now I have that clone URL, and I'm going to go back to 
on my Mokari terminal here, and I'm going to clone that. Um, and I'm, let's see, let's just clone it right here at the top level. So I'm going to say git clone space uh, the the address of that git um, repository. And um, and it uh, oh and it says <laughs> permission denied public key now um, this is so so that's because um, Wakari isn't actually um, running uh, the proper thing that it's um, supposed to have uh, to make that work <laughs> so um, let's see yeah, there's some let's see bad bash. I'm in my bash rc file. I'm going to add a few lines. Let's see, I have them here somewhere. Oh yeah, so I need this ssh agent to run, or else nothing is going to work. So we need these lines here. Um, and uh, let's see, now where? Maybe I'll just leave them there for a second, and you can always just pause that. Um, but uh, yeah, you need those lines, and I'm going to put those in my bash RC. And hello? Uh, no. Okay, so where the heck did those go again? I'm going to have to go here, do that, and right mouse click, copy, and back here, click on that guy right there, and paste. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I'm going to delete a few lines here and then I'm going to execute that by doing dot tilde slash bash RC okay agent started and now let's try that git clone sweet okay so that worked and we should have um, a new uh, directory here called Wakari test okay so um, over here now, we, uh, we have to refresh the list. And now we have this thing, Wakari test. And if I go into that directory, I see just the readme. Um, let's create a new notebook. And um, let's just do plot a range 10. Oh, come on. Just still thinking. Um, wait for it. There we go. So here's our little notebook. Um, let's uh, save and checkpoint that. Click right there. Uh, or we could click up here and click File, um, Save and Checkpoint. OK. And now if we refresh the little list over here, we have untitled 0 IPYNB. Could have given it a name, I guess. Um, I always like to give them names with underscores. My test and uh, refresh. And now here we go. We have my test.ipynb. Now, what if we want to? So we want to add that um, to GitHub. We can say um, we cd to Wakari test, um, and and so we can always we can say git status, um, and it'll say. Uh, untracked files my test.ipynb so we can say git add my test um, .ipynb and then we can say git merge um, I mean git commit and uh, and then give it some uh, message like um, my initial uh, uh, notebook And, um, and then so now it's committed into my local git. And so then I can say <clears throat> git push. And, um, and now it says it's pushed it back to GitHub. So if I look on GitHub um, and I, uh, I do a reload here, there it is. There's my test, and if I go back here, I can see to the top level, I can see the latest commit. And um, it says, uh, you know, I uh, here's the comment, my initial notebook, um, and I just put this in. So it's pretty cool. 
And, uh, oh, look at this, it's interesting. Who authored it? WRPS. So that's Wakari underscore RPS. That's my username um, on Wakari. So uh, I think that's it. So.